Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I'm the creator of the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin. And if you're not familiar with this plugin, it's a plugin that we created to enable the missing dynamic content feature in some of the modules like the video module and the gallery, the map and the audio player. Now we actually have Divi library support so you can add any library layout to any like text area and any module. Now we are going even further. We're getting some requests for adding dynamic content in the code module. That's right. Now you can embed any kind of like iframe or embed code or literally run code. Like seriously, you could actually run code like CSS or jQuery from a custom field through the code module and it will affect that page that it, that the code module is on. Um, we also have a new dynamic collars feature. So I'm excited to show you these new features. Let's take a look. The first feature I will show you is this new dynamic content in the code module and it works just like the other ones. Um, it's something that's missing by default. So if I come in here and um, well, you know, if I add a code module, right, you know how to do that. So right up here when you hover, you'll see it's a little hard to see with this gray background, but you can see it a little. Um, code, so I can click on here and then it opens up this normal pop-up for the um, dynamic content. Again, you can use any kind of embed code. So YouTube, like if like here I grab, I have a bunch set up here uh, to save time, but I have an iframe here, okay? This is from YouTube. Here's one from Rumble. Um, that video sharing site, Wistia, Vimeo. Here's a map. Like if I go to Google Maps and say copy embed code. Here's a Spotify playlist. Here's an actual, just a song, a Spotify song. Which I don't have that correct, but anyway, you get the idea. These are examples of Facebook posts, maybe a MailChimp form or actual code, okay? All of these things can be added now in custom fields like this. And then in the code module, you will, you will simply want to connect it, right? So you can see it literally here. So let's say I connect this to, um, where are we at here? Right here, YouTube, right? So I can say save and then we'll update this. All right, so here is my YouTube video showing. And again, it's not through like the normal video module or anything it's actually the embed code that i got from youtube okay let's try another one so i just removed the one that i had uh, i can pick any of the other ones that i had here um rumble wistia vimeo i'll do the map maybe uh, in fact i could i could do multiple at a time here i mean after all you can add as many modules as you want here so, so maybe we'll do that one yet and then we'll just preview this so we've got the map from Google Maps here in the embed code. Here we've got a video from Rumble, which again, they don't actually have links, shareable links, so you have to use the embed code. And then, well, I mean, you can link to their page, but it's a little different than like YouTube. Here's like a Spotify playlist, um, and you can embed an actual single song if you want to. Now, I talked about the code. That's That's a whole nother thing. So... Let me just show you what happens if I embed the code, like something as simple as like a little bit of CSS. In fact, I already have it right here. It's just, we're gonna say text. When we ETPB text, we're gonna say background red, okay? Really simple. We're gonna get this code from the custom field code and add it into one of these uh, code modules, right? So we'll just remove what we had there and say, code and then let's take a look at this the text module that i have added here will have a background color of red <laughs> any on the page see that isn't that awesome like it like i don't know what the use case is for this but i know some people have actually asked for that so there you go <laughs> that's actually running some jquery here it's moving the product um, portfolio title over the image that was one of our tutorials all right, so here's just some examples of things that I thought of that you can embed with this. Now, um, I have a bunch of stuff here. Okay, dynamic colors. Let's get to this. So let's say I'm in this um, builder here again, and maybe on this site I have a custom field for 
like putting a hex code, you know, or maybe a color picker. And if you're using like advanced custom fields, they have a color picker field. So, in fact, I, I may, you may have already seen it. So this, I just added both. I had a advanced custom field, color picker field, and then just a regular text field. Like you could literally use any custom field, simple as can be. So I have a color there and there. Now we're going to connect to them from the Divi Builder. Let's say this background of this section right here. I come in here, notice this little icon that is was not here until our plugin added it. Use dynamic content for the background of this section, right? So I go down here and I look for it right here. Advanced custom field color picker. Now, unfortunately, it will not render in the builder. It's just a limitation, okay? And it's unfortunate. Let's say I go in here to this text module and I want the text to See this? Look right here. This was not here. This is, it's only added with our plugin. Use dynamic content. So I am going to do, use this one, color picker text field. Now you, once you, as soon as you pick it, now you don't want anyone to pick something else. It's the same as any other dynamic content field. Now this one's selected and as I do that, then you get the colors back. But again, we're doing it dynamically. So you can pick the colors, so let's take a look at these. All right, so the background of the section is just green, and the text is red. It's hard to see, maybe. Um, so there you go, dynamic colors. Now, there's one limitation that it does not work on borders. We spent a lot of time trying to get that to work. So, for example, it won't work if I go to this text module, like border color here. You won't see the option, okay? It's not going to show. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but we'll, we're, we're going to keep working on it. But for now, it's like, you know, text and you know any of these other ones, like the background color, like I said here, you could set that. Like, let's say if I set that to this one instead, one more, we'll show you one more thing. And then while we're at it, let's switch this one to green. So now it should be a, a red background and green text. Okay, you can see it. It is. All right. One last thing that we have added is settings, which, you know, I guess that's not too exciting, but it is helpful. If you go to Divi theme options, we now have this new tab, Divi Dynamic Helper. So right here, I guess it is kind of important because if you want to enable something they may or may not be enabled by default. I can't quite remember. I think we actually have some of these off, like um, the code module might be off. We had to turn the ones on from previous versions, you know, because people are already using the video module. And if we shipped it with this off, now all of a sudden it would stop working on all of our customer sites. So we don't want that to happen. But here you can see that you can enable and disable anything. We like to do this for all of our plugins because it just helps you, you know, you don't need to run any extra code on your site if you're not using it. If you're not using colors, you know, this will be off. If you're not using the layouts, the dynamic content to be library feature, you know, there you go, settings here. So overall, a fun update, the dynamic content in the code module and dynamic colors and then the settings. I hope you enjoy this. If you do, definitely give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't purchased this, take a look at what it does. It's really powerful and there's nothing else like this. And we're very happy with what it does, extending the awesome features of dynamic content, especially so you can use the Divi Theme Builder, um, which is an incredible feature of Divi. All right, hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you all in the next video.